Hey guys, it's me, Desiree Marie. Welcome back to my channel. If you are here for the very first time, welcome. Just to reintroduce myself, I'm Desiree Marie, and I do all sorts of videos. I do lock hair care videos where I bring you guys inside of my journey pretty much as I wash and maintain my hair. I give you guys a very up close and personal view of my locks and my ups and downs, trials and tribulations. So I show you everything, the good and the bad, and sometimes the ugly. Um, and I also do a lot of hair styling videos with my locks. Um, so if you're interested in styling your locks and maintenance and just seeing how another person's journey looks, very up close and personally, real and raw, definitely do subscribe. I also do other types of videos like, uh, you know, little vlogs and also DIY around my first one bedroom apartment. But anyway, guys, as you see from the title of this video, today I'm going to be doing a hair wash. It is very, very time to wash this hair. Um, the last time I washed it was maybe three weeks ago. Um, three weeks ago, I put my long two-strand twists in my hair. Um, the with the mar the braiding hair if you guys saw my previous videos you know I did like a protective style yeah a protective style for dreadlocks yes I added hair on top of it on top of my hair and I did like this nice long Senegalese twist with my hair um, I took it out just last week with you guys on live and um, since then I've been saying I wanted to wash it but when I get home it's late and I don't want to wash my hair and have to go to bed on wet hair so today is the best day to get it done so obviously I'm going to be showing you as I wash my hair and everything that I do um, but just a little little update my hair feels dry I'm just gonna let you know right now it feels dry I have not you know did anything since I took out my braiding hair have not done anything because I want to wash it so Pretty much all I've been doing is wearing this hat on top of my head so that no one can see the fact that I need a retwist and my hair needs a good wash. <laughs> um, I've been wearing hats, I've been just not doing my hair at all, just leaving it alone so that I can just go ahead and wash it the next time I can get. So today is the next time. Um, yeah, it's dry. Um, it's stringy like I said previously when you know your hair needs to get washed your locks will start to feel very tight and like sh stringy very stringy it's not puffed out it's not voluptuous and expanded it's very tight like as if it's looking for every bit of moisture so um, that's how my hair feels right now it's very straw like almost like you know like very thin cigarettes um, yeah it's very thin um it's dry and my roots are dry <laughs> um i do need a retwist the last time i retwisted was maybe about a month ago but i'm not going to be retwisting this time because i want to give my hair a little bit of a break i don't want to keep putting you know pressure and doing different things with my hair um i just took out my uh two strand twist so i do want to give my hair a little break in between um, but other than that, my hair is pretty much growing. It's the same. I think I got a little bit of length. What do you guys think? <laughs> I think I got a little bit of length. Um, yeah, so I got some compliments on my hair, actually. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I got some compliments on my hair. Isn't that crazy how when you feel like your hair is the most disgusting it needs so much and you just like go out the outside without styling it or doing anything that's when you get compliments so a few people complimented me on my locks and I was just amazed like wow okay thank you but inside I'm thinking well what are you really seeing because first of all I need to wash retwist moisturize my hair but that just goes to show you that sometimes other people will see things that you don't see. You may think you're in the worst stage of your life with your lock journey, but other people think you look amazing, you look beautiful. You know, just carry yourself with that confidence and other people will see it too. All right, so enough talking. Today I wanna do something different. Now that the seasons are changing, right now in New York, the we're in kind of a weird place. I guess you would call it Indian summer, where the summer is not yet gone and the fall is trying to make its entrance, but it's not yet. So we kind of yo-yo between weather conditions. For the most part, it's not 
crazy hot anymore we are approaching like a more cooler season and climate so when the seasons change for me I like to change my hair regimen and it is very important to change your hair regimen because what might have worked in the previous season may not work in the next season you know you have to kind of prepare yourself for the season ahead so now that it's about to be colder um, my hair needs more moisture that I know in the summertime it's so much easier because I feel like first of all your your scalp is exuding all the oils it needs in order to maintain moisture but you have so many different elements that helps your hair to maintain its moisture in the, sum, in the summer but in the fall when it gets a little colder you need to do extra work so what I want to do today is do a hot oil treatment I feel like this will really help to kind of give my hair that boost of moisture that it so needs right now um, and really just strengthen my hair and prepare it for the you know the new season ahead so that's what I'm going to do with you guys I'm going to be making a hot oil treatment to boost the moisture in your locks and really give it that oomph you know the last time I was on live someone asked me how do they boost their moisture you know how do they get their hair to not be so dry anymore well today I'm going to be doing something as you can see I'm starting on dry hair so you will see how it works um, on me and hopefully it works for you if you want to do this too so I'll give you an easy step-by-step -step, um, view of what I do I'll also be showing you how I wash my hair so without further ado let's just go right ahead and get started okay so here I am starting with my favorite oils here I have the coconut and sweet almond oil this is a mixture of coconut and almond oil mixed up together. Um, and this is by Aunt Jackie's Curls and Coils. I love this product because it really, really gives me the, bo the boost of moisture um, in between hair washes. It doesn't have petroleum, um, mineral oil, parabens, or sulfates. So this is excellent for my hair. And I also want to add in some extra virgin olive oil. So what I'll do here is add these oils into this jar. Just enough to apply to my scalp. Not a whole lot, but just enough. All right, and now I'm going to close this up and put it into this pot of hot boiling water. And I'm going to leave that in for maybe about 10 minutes just to make sure that the oil inside of this jar gets nice and hot. And you want to make sure that this oil gets nice and hot so that when you apply it to the scalp, it really does its work. So we're going to wait maybe about 10 minutes and yep. <laughs> right, so now that it's been 10 minutes, ooh, the jar is hot and I'm hoping that the oil is hot. Let's see. Oh yeah, it's nice and hot um i think i want it to be a little bit more hot though so i'm going to put this on the stove for a little bit longer maybe about 10 minutes more so in total i'm doing it for 20 minutes Okay, so now that my hair is nice and wet, um, it's not drenched wet, I just decided to wet it just a little bit um, so that I am doing this hot oil treatment on non-dry hair. So now I'm going to take my bottle of sweet almond oil mixed with um, my olive oil. And I am going to, first of all, I should section my hair. So I'm going to section my hair straight down, leaving each side like this. All right, 
it and give myself some space so I can see. <laughs> now I'm going to take the bottle and start by applying the oil on my roots and give it some nice uh, rubbing. I'm going to massage it so that my scalp um, opens up and accepts the hot oil treatment and it also loosens up the hair that has already uh, shed and wants to be washed out anyway. Um, so I'm applying some more. I'm pretty much applying all the way straight to the back. Oh, this feels good already. And this also, um, promotes hair, you know, hair growth, and it's also allowing the blood circulation in the scalp to, you know, occur. A good massage is always really good for your hair. And teamed up with oils, you can see how much more beneficial this would be for you. So now that I have done it, um, diagonally, I'm going to now part my hair horizontally and I'm going to use my good old goodie band. Part my hair horizontally down the middle and use my goodie band to keep my locks sectioned and out of my way so that I can apply this oil the right way so um i mean i don't have a squirt bottle it would be really great if you had a squirt bottle an applicator bottle um, which has like the small nozzle that allows you to just go in and um apply the oil into your scalp even easier i don't have that right now so i'm just applying from the jar of course you want to make sure to clear off you know your surroundings make sure that there's nothing around that you don't want to get saturated with oil so i'm going to take this jar and um do my very best to section well not to section but to apply this oil i can even like pour a little bit and then massage it down this way because it's gonna be really difficult for me to even try to pour the, the oil down this spot right here without creating a huge mess. So I am continuing my massage and I'm going to do it on the other side as well. Do the same thing. And this smells amazing to me because um, I had put a few drops of peppermint oil in. So um, yeah, this smells awesome. So now that I have applied it both horizontally and diagonally, um, I just wanna go in and get some areas that may not have been covered. Like maybe, maybe this, I'm just pouring just a little bit enough to go ahead and massage the areas that need to be um, covered that I didn't cover already so over here that would be this area right here I kind of missed the application and I, let me tell you right now, this hot oil feels so good on my scalp. 
this is great like if you're having a stressful week and you just really need to do some TLC on your hair this is one way to first of all boost moisture um, back into your locks but also to relax you know sometimes we don't take the time to really take care of ourselves and our hair you know when we're going through like a busy week things that go without our usually our well-being <laughs> our mental well-being and also our hair um Sometimes you just don't have the time to do all of this. So this is a great way to do some tender loving care. <laughs> and it feels so good. All right, so now I am massaging my scalp a little bit more and making sure to really distribute the oils throughout my entire scalp so that there are no areas that are left without any oil coverage. And this is also, like I said, promoting blood circulation and it's awakening the scalp to receive the oils whew, into the hair and into the scalp because the scalp is the foundation by which your hair grows. So you wanna make sure that the scalp is treated just right. Okay, so now that my scalp has been moisturized, I'm gonna take some more oil, not too much, but just enough, and I'm going to apply it to my hair shaft. This is all done before I wash my hair. Taking a little bit more. And applying it to my hair. And also, I don't want to neglect the ends. Because when the ends are neglected, you end up with breakage. So I feel wonderful. Okay, so now the next step would be to get a hot towel or a t-shirt. In this case, we're using a t-shirt because we simply cannot do the towels. Um, so here I have my towel, well, <laughs> my t-shirt being soaked in to some hot water. I'm going to wring it out and then put it on um, my head. But first I'm gonna put this on, so, all right. <laughs> Let me not skip any steps here. I'm grabbing my black, yes, my ghetto black <laughs> plastic bag and I am putting my hair into it. Get all fabulous. <laughs> I am going to now get my t shirt. Okay, so now it's time to put this over the plastic bag. And I'm basically putting this hot t shirt over the plastic bag just to further um, promote. An environment of you know heat underneath uh, with my hair my scalp I want to trap in as much heat as I could in order to really get the best benefits 
um, out of this hot oil treatment. I want my scalp to get hot, <laughs> to get warm, hot, whatever, um, and really open up and receive the oils. And just, yeah, this will definitely, this is a great way to moisturize your hair um, every so often when you feel like you're in a dry spot and your hair is not receiving oils like it could have, like it was before. Um, one thing to think about is also hair porosity, but another thing you could do is a nice hot oil treatment every so often. Um, I think that I will make this more of a practice maybe every month. Once, once a month, just come back and do my hot oil treatment um, to make sure that my hair is receiving the oils um, in a, in, you know, in a good way in order for my hair to always be moisturized and feel moisturized so that I don't have to do as much work with, you know, oiling my scalp every few days or moisturizing my hair every few days. This will definitely keep your hair in a state where you probably don't need to do much besides wet it and, you know, your, your maintenance here and there, but your hair will remain moisturized um, until, you know, your next wash day. So, um, right now, I'm going to keep this on my hair for about one hour. I'm going to, you can go as far as two hours with this thing, but I'm going to allow it one whole hour, and then um, I will come back and wash my hair with my moisturizing shampoo, my beer shampoo that you guys saw me wash with previously and if you didn't see that video I will have it linked up above I also wrote about this on my um, online blog website it's DesireeMarie.com I talked more about this shampoo and how it really helped to um, not only wash my hair but moisturize it so for some extra moisture um, I'm going to be using this moisturizing shampoo and yeah so yeah guys, I'm going to allow myself one whole hour. I'll see you guys in an hour. <laughs> Later guys. All right, it has been an hour and a half actually and I am ready whew, to take this off <laughs> and wash my hair. I just want to give you guys a little sneak peek of what is underneath. <laughs> Woo. My hair smells so good. OMG. I'm so glad that I added that peppermint oil. It smells so good. But here's how my hair looks right before washing this out. It smells so good. Woo. And it feels drenched. Drenched in oil. <laughs> So right now what I'm going to do is just hop in the shower and wash my hair. Um, I might wash it twice just to uh, make sure that, you know, my hair is not saturated with oil. Even though it is great to have oil in your hair, you don't want it saturated. <laughs> so I'm just going to go jump in the shower, wash this out. Like I said, with my trusty bro shampoo, and I'll come right back and give you guys a final review on how this hot oil treatment has worked for my hair. Hey guys, so I'm back. I um, had to dry my hair off before I came back, but I wanted to let you know how I finished the hot oil treatment. Um, as I left the camera and went into the shower to then rinse the oil out of my hair, what I did was I um, used uh, not hot water, but like warm hot water to rinse it. I let the water just go through my scalp and just reach the oil and pull it out. I did that for maybe about five minutes. And then I turned the water to about lukewarm so that that temperature can just go ahead and finish extracting, not extracting the oils, but just getting the oils out of my hair, the, ex, the ex, excess, excess oils out of my hair um, so that I don't have such a slippery, um, you know, slippery hair when I finish. So 
um, that was really easy. As I was sliding my hands through my hair and just rinsing it out, it felt so nice and moisturized, especially at the nape back here. It felt really nice. Like my fingers just pretty much glided through um, my new growth, <laughs> not my hair, but it just like, it felt more like a, a slippery, um, it felt slippery pretty much. It was very slippery and easy to just rinse through. So after that, I followed up with my uh, moisturizing shampoo. Um, and my hair feels great. I just washed it one time and my hair feels great. My hair still feels like it is moisturized. I don't have that huge chunk of oil coming out of my hair, which you don't want that. You want your hair to um, be rinsed and washed out from the oils. The oils is meant, the oils are meant, I'm sorry guys, I can't talk. The oils are meant to um, penetrate your hair, but not to stay on top of it. So what you wanna do is just wash it out. Right now my hair feels great. Of course I'm going to um, apply some oils on top of my wet hair just to kind of solidify the um, moisture that I already put in and just to you know keep it in there so that it's not drying out when my hair finally does dry from you know this wetness and stuff like that but other than that my feet my hair feels great I could see the growth which I'm really excited about I'm always excited about the growth and yeah guys so that's pretty much it um my roots feel nice and moisturized and let me tell you, adding the peppermint oil was very, very um, beneficial because what it did was it kept my hair smelling pepperminty fresh. So because I added that oil into the hot oil treatment that I kept on my hair for like almost two hours, now my hair smells very nice and fresh. So um, don't be afraid to add a few drops of peppermint oil into your solution if you want your hair to remain um, minty fresh. But yeah guys, that's pretty much it. I really did enjoy the hot oil treatment. Like I said, I'm going to do that maybe about twice a month moving forward. Now that the weather is getting a little bit cooler, um, just to further contribute to um, keeping moisturized hair and not allowing my hair to dry out as the weather gets cooler because that is very much a um, possibility for us with locks. When the weather gets colder, our hair could get drier and we just want to keep on top of the um, our regimen and adding and extracting whatever it is that doesn't work, adding good stuff into our hair and just being happy on our journey and allowing our hair to continue to grow and shine. So anyway guys, Thank you for watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed. Please let me know if you have ever tried this hot oil treatment down below. And if you have any recommendations for my next hot oil treatment, let us know. If you're not subscribed, do subscribe for many more videos like this. And yeah, as always, I love you guys and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.